Well, school has started in recent weeks, and it's a great time for parents to reflect on how to step up to a successful school year for the kids. For many families, this is the first full week of school and a time of transition to new routines. UW Health Distinguished Psychologist Dr. Shyla Mergain joins us now to share tips on helping kids, and she should know, because this is your new baby. Congratulations. Hi, Shyla, good to see you. It's my six and a half year old daughter. This is thrilled for her TV debut. Six and a half old. Six and a half, yes, month old. My daughter is thrilled for her TV debut. This is the happiest six month old baby I've ever seen. She is smiling at everyone, especially Hi. Uncle Mark. You like you know, she loves you both. What yeah, she's doing? thrilled to be here. What are you doing? She's oh. looking at all the monitors. She's very aware yeah. of her surroundings. Oh. So she is just beautiful, oh, Shyla. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, thanks for having her. So you, we're talking about the school year and helping your kids go in the right direction. What are some tips? Yeah, so the first is to pay attention. You know, I was thinking with my daughter, she's starting her quote-unquote first school year, and we're doing tummy time, physical education, and <laughs> English literature with board books, and even culinary arcs with purees. But, you know, families have just started the school year, so be around, listen, um, create space to really check in with your child and attune to them. One of the things I've learned with my daughter when she's crying, I used to go in saying, it's okay, it's okay, but it wasn't okay. Instead, validate the child's experience by saying, oh, you're sad, I see that, or you're feeling nervous, let's talk about it. And really celebrate and acknowledge <laughs> any successes that they're having. Right, you want to pay attention to the good things and point out the positive, emphasize the positive that your kid, the experiences that your kids are having, right? Yeah, you really build up a kids' sense of self by really acknowledging and reinforcing the things they're doing right. We often think we have to go in and punish and correct, but instead really notice the little things that they're doing that are successes and really acknowledge them and point it out so they can build on that. But not every Everybody gets a, a, a ribbon, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> not everything is always good. Right. Sometimes you have to acknowledge that there's a problem. Absolutely, and we can anticipate some of those challenges like bullying or maybe not doing as well on a test and brainstorm with your child ways they can navigate those challenging situations. You might even role play and give them scripts and check in repeatedly to see how they're doing. Oh, that's a good idea. What are some things parents need to acknowledge when their kids arrive home from school? You have a great acronym for parents to remember. Yeah, the GLAD technique yes. that I love and GLAD is an acronym that stands for G is one thing that child is grateful for. You can think about doing this around the dinner table or at night. It could be L, uh, one thing they learned uh, that day in school. A, one thing that they accomplished or achieved. And then the D, one thing that just delighted them that day. So the GLAD technique, grateful, learned, uh, one thing they accomplished or achieved, and then what they delighted in that day. And so communication is so important. It is. You know, in order for your child to to be open to talking, make sure that you're listening. Sometimes we get into giving advice mode, but just sometimes being quiet and just sitting back and creating space for that child to talk can do wonders in building that connection and, and she'll be off fostering to, that closeness. She'll be off to school before you you're Blink your eye. <laughs> Absolutely. We, did, we didn't even need the giraffe. <laughs> we didn't. Oh, there, oh, there, there he is. <laughs> Where's the giraffe? I didn't even ask you. What is your baby's name? Oh, her name is Elevin Murray and Mergain. Elevin um, stands for light and, and brilliance. Marie is a combination of my aunt and my mom's name, Mar Maureen and Rayetta and then Mergain. Oh, that's so. beautiful. <laughs> I think you I think you stole the show from your mama. I think you did. I think so. Yeah, I She's think a natural. So. Oh, <laughs> thanks for bringing her on. Thank you for sharing her with everybody. Everybody's been wanting to see her for so long. And your mom is here, too. My mom is here, too, as our, our support person, Grandma. <laughs> Welcome, <Yeah>. Grandma. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. Will you come back soon? Uh, I think yeah, she will. Yes. <laughs> what a happy baby. <laughs>